Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to find upper bound and the lower bound for the topic limits of accuracy. There are two types of question here. Type one questions when the, in the type one question, when no formula is being used, this is the direct approach. Let's take some example from past papers, all level past paper here. The length of a path is measured as 62 meter correct to the nearest meter. Write down the upper bound for the length of the path. Before writing the upper bound for the length of the path, you should know where is the actual value and where is the key to find error 62 meter is the actual value and the nearest meter is the key for error at the end of the lecture i will solve this part a and the part b for part b the mass of a bag of peanuts is 80 gram. Correct to the nearest 10 grams. Calculate the lower bound for the mass of 5 of these bags of peanuts. Before starting to calculate, before calculate, before calculate, to calculate the lower bound for the mass of 5 of these bags of peanuts, you should know the true points. Where is the actual value? The actual value is 80 gram and where is the key to find error? The 10 grams is the key to find a error. But before, but before writing upper bound and the lower bound, you should know how to calculate error and how to write upper and lower bound. There are some notes to find upper and lower bound here. In note number one, the upper bound is equal to the actual value plus absolute error and the note number two, lower bound is equal to actual value minus absolute error. Calculate absolute, absolute error. Out There are some tricks here. There are some tricks to calculate to find absolute error. You should know the key. If the key is nearest 10 seconds, the absolute error will be half of the 10 second. This is 10 divided by 2 is 5 seconds. The second one is nearest tenth of the second. There is tenth of the of a second. Tenth means tens means 1 over 2, 1 over 10, 1 over 10. The absolute error will be 110 divided by 2, this is the oh, half of 110 will be 0 0.05 seconds. Third is if the key if the key is accurate to one one over thousand or one or thousandth of a second, absolute error will be one over thousand divided by two, or you can say half of 1 over 1000, which is 0 0.0005 second. The 4 is nearest 100 kilograms. The 100 divided by 2 will be the absolute error, which is 50 kilograms. Fifth is, if fifth is, if in this question, fifth is nearest centimeter. Nearest centimeter means nearest one centimeter so the absolute error will be one divided by two zero point five centimeter point six is if in this question there is a key nearest five second so the absolute error will be half of the five centimeter half of the five centimeter which is two point five centimeter in part seven 
if there is a key is nearest one centimeter square or you can say nearest centimeter square your absolute error will be 1 divided by 2 0 0.5 centimeter square if in the question the key is nearest millimeter nearest millimeter means nearest one millimeter so your absolute error will be 1 divided by 2 0 0.5 millimeter if your key is nearest gram or you can say nearest one gram your absolute error will be one gram divided by two will be 0 0.5 gram if the key is nearest 10 grams your absolute error will be half of 10 grams which is 5 gram if the key is nearest degree or you can say nearest one degree for temperature like fahrenheit or centigrade so your absolute error will be 0.5 fahrenheit or centigrade if your key is in the key is in the question nearest degree or you can say nearest one degree for angle your absolute error will be one half of the dig one degree is 0 0.5 degree if in this question in the in a question nearest 0 0.1 kilogram so your absolute error will be half of 0 0.1 kilogram which is 0 0.05 kilogram if key is nearest 100 kilometer so your absolute error will be 100 divided by 2 or you can say half of 100 which is 50 kilometer if the key is nearest 10 meters so absolute error will be half of 10 meter which is 5 meters let's take some example uh, let's take the, some example from a question from may june from may june 2020 2021 from may june 2021 question number 14 the length of a the, the length of a path is measured as 62 meter correct to the nearest meter write down the upper bound for the length of the path you should know wh where is uh, where is what is the actual value here the actual value what is the actual value actual value is 62 meter and where is the key to find error the key to find error is correct to the nearest one meter means nearest one meter one meter is the one meter is the key for absolute error or you can say error now start to write down to find the upper bound for this question here the first step is you should know the equation to find upper bound the equation to find upper bound is upper bound equal to actual value plus absolute error so the actual value is 62 meter here write down the actual value 62 plus absolute error for the absolute error use the key nearest one meter nearest one meter so one meter one divided by one divided by two or you can say 0 0.5 the absolute error is one divided by two so z62 plus 0 0.5 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 here. Upper bound will be 62.5 meter. This is your final answer for this question number 14, part A. Um, now, part B for this question here. The part B is the mass of a bag of peanut is 80 gram correct to the nearest 10 grams 
calculate the lower bound for the mass of five of these bags of peanuts. To calculate lower bound, you should know the actual value and the error and the key uh, for to find the error. So the actual value in this question is this part B is 80 grams. And the key for error is 10 grams. To calculate lower bound, you should know the equation to find lower bound, which is lower bound, lower bound equal to actual value minus absolute error. This question, actual value is actual value is 80 gram. So I'm going to write 80 gram for actual value and the absolute error is half of the 10 gram because the key is nearest 10 grams. So absolute error will be half of 10 gram. So I'm going to write I'm going to write here uh, the actual value. Actual value is 80 gram minus the absolute error. Absolute error, the key for absolute error is 10 gram. So the 10 gram is, you know, 10 divided by to half of 10 grams. 80 minus 5 is 75 gram. The 75 gram, the lower bound of a bag. It is lower bound of a bag. Lower bound of a bag is 75 gram. But in this question, you have to find the mass of five of these bags the mass of five of these bags of peanuts so mass of lower bound of mass of five bags will be lower bound of mass of five bags will be Seventy five into five gram, which is three seventy five gram. This is your final answer. I hope you have understood how to find upper and lower bound with direct approach. Stay connected, subscribe, like, share, and press bell icon for more videos lecture. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.